Hi friends, this is the good day. Let me begin with Padartha Vidyana first topic that is Ayu. Uh, I am here Anand Patil from AP Creations. So not to waste this time, let's start. So come on, let us study the Ayu. What is Ayu? Ayu is nothing but the life or a life span. So before uh, going to the topic, you have to keep some six key points in your mind. Those are first one is nirukti as a derivation, second one is a synonym as a pariyaya, and uh, third one comes definition, fourth one comes assessment, fifth one comes feature or a lakshana, sixth one comes components. These six key points are very very important. You have to keep this in mind. So let us de describe one by one these key points. So I request you guys don't to skip the video at any moment because I used to tell about the uh, shlokas which are related to the other topics and also the exam point of view how much marks it carry. I I will be telling about that and also the some important hint keys are also be dealt. Uh, so let us begin with the first point that is nirukti or a derivation. Uh, nirukti is nothing but the origin of the word from where it came. That is the nirukti as ayu is came from the Sanskrit root word in gatav where in means constant. Gatav means moment. That which has constant moment is called as ayu. So next the derivation is Ayu iti jivita kalaha means the period of life span of an individual is known as the Ayu. The next quotation is Asamantat Chetanaya Yunakti iti Ayu means uh, the period of life span from birth to death with the living entity or a living soul is known as Ayu. Only these three quotations are important in this first point as a nirukti. Okay. The ayu comes for the examination point only for 5 marks or 3 marks according to the RGUHS University. Uh, I don't know the other states uh, how much does it carry marks. Um, so let's, let us begin with the next point that is synonym or a pariyaya. Here the quotation is important. Shari Rendriya Satvatma Sanyogadari Jivitam Nitya Gascha Anubandascha Pariyayai Ayuruchate. Uh, here the synonyms are Dari, Jivita Kala, Nityaga, and Anubanda. Only this much is the important part in synonyms. Uh, as synonyms quotation Shari Rendriya Satvatma Sanyogadari Jivitam Nitya Gascha Anubandascha Pariyayai Ayuruchate. This quotation is also same for the definition of the Ayu. So um, we can move to the next point that is definition. Definition is same that as synonym as Pariyaya you read. So the definition tells about the union of Sharira, Indriya, Sattva, Atma. These four uh, combine together to form a Ayu or a lifespan or a life period has sharira the body uh, indriya the sense organs sattva the mind and atma the soul these four constitute to form a ayu so this is clear about the definition that is ayu sharira indriya sattva atma sanyogadari jivitam nitya gascha anubandascha pariyayai ayuruchate so shall we move to the next point as the assessment of Ayu. So, assessment of Ayu. Here the quotation is very very important. As it quotes as Hitaitam Sukam Dukkam Ayustasya Hitaitam Manam Cha Tacha Yatroktam Ayurvedam Sa Uchate. Okay. So, it's simple. In the quotation, they, they have dealted about four uh, assessments that are Hitayu, useful life, and Ahitayu, unuseful life and Dukkayu that is uh, unhappy life and Sukayu happy life. The assessment of Ayu is done in two ways that are by analyzing their 
quality and quantity according to the assessment of ayu according to the quantity they are prakruti and vikruti where prakruti refers to the living body or the living entity where vikruti refers to the dead soul or the dead body or the dead entity here comes the qualitative analysis second uh, that are hitayu ahitayu sukayu and dukkayu here completes the fourth point assessment so what is the next point that is feature or a lakshana what is the lakshana of ayu the ayu lakshana is similar to the atma lakshana this quotation the quotation what um, is dealted for the ayu lakshana is also same for the atma lakshana you can also write in that atma atma lakshana what is atma lakshana same as ayu lakshana is uh, the quotation is similar to the ayu and atma okay uh, so let us begin with the quotation uh, what quotation tells prana pana nimesh adyam jivanam manaso gati hi indriyantara sancharah preranam daranam ch yat deshantara gati hi swapne panchatva grahanam tata drushtasya dakshine nakshna savve nama gamastata ichchadvesham sukham dukkham prayatnas chetana druti hi buddhi smriti rahankaro lingani paramatmana the quotation is very simple the meaning is also very simple as prana pano means uh, the respiration inspiration and expiration of a person what are the features this are, this all are the features what are the features of ayu is nothing but the respiration inspiration and expiration and nimesha adya means blinking of eyes blinking of eyes refers to the nimesha means time factor here within a second of time and jivanam jivanam means as you know the life and manaso gati hi manas means you know mind that gati means movement mobility of the mind uh, is refers to the, the thinking capacity of the mind okay next indriyantara sancharah preranam daranam ch yat okay indriyantara sancharah indriya antara sancharah means uh, one sense organ action is shi- uh, shifted from another sense organ that for example if you see the any dish or a thing uh, in front of you uh, your eyes first visualize it by sense organs eyes are also the sense organ your eyes come contact in that and after you have it how by touch the touch perception by vision the visual uh, action is shifted from the touch perception touch action okay uh, indriyantara sancharah preranam daranam stability and the mobility of the indriyas takes place in the lakshanas of ayu deshantara gati hi swapne panchatva grahanam tata means deshantara gati hi swapne means moving around in dreams when you are sleeping you will be moving around in dreams that are the lakshanas of ayu moving around in dreams and the panchatva grahanam means anticipation of death no more total okay drushtasya dakshine nakshna savve nama gamastata means uh, um, if or the knowledge got by right eye is also got got to the left eye okay ichcha dvesha sukha dukkham prayatna chetana druti hi buddhi smriti rahankaro lingani paramatmana ichcha means uh, desire uh, dvesha means hatredness uh, as sukha means happy dukkha means unhappy and prayatna chetana druti hi means prayatna prayatna means effort or misery or the effort prayatna chetana druti hi means chetana means consciousness or the activeness chetana druti hi buddhi smriti rahankaro lingani paramatmana buddhi smriti ahankara buddhi as the intellect smriti memory as the ahankara is ego ego these all are the lakshanas of paramatma as i told the uh, quotation is also similar quotation to the atma atma lakshana is also the same quotation okay uh, let us move to the last point that is 
components of ayu there what are the components of ayu as you studied that are sharira indriya sattva atma sanyoga dhari jivitam that are sharira indriya sattva atma this four combines to form the form an ayu if any doubts you can ask me in the comment box and also keep supporting you and we become more creative and we can meet in the next video share as much as this video as much as possible thank you